Hello, hello guys, this is Doc M and I'm playing on the mind. Crack. Whoop. Oh dang it. Feed the beast server. <laughs> and I got my minions here at work. I was collecting a lot of wool. I was crafting a lot of stuff because today we want to work on some interesting, something really interesting. I started project floating penguins over at Beef Zoo. Now I did the first preparations and today we um, should be able to install one crucial part of it. <laughs> I really like um, those golems here. I've been using them for quite a while now and good way to get wool of course with the flex here. It's really awesome. like it a lot. Alright, so let's put that away. Let them work a bit. And uh, we got all kind of randomness again in the inventory. And we should get over to Beef Zoo. I have this portal set up here. Whoop. Okay, and here we are. Let me quickly eat something. Should have some chicken with me. Just made a few more frame motors and stuff. Alright, so let's go up. Beef Zoo and I was talking to him, he said, okay, penguins, snow, so we have this circle he prepared for us, mountainy area, and I thought we we're gonna do the penguin cave, and yeah, for now, I dug everything out inside here, and yeah, I wanna make this into a nice snowy, icy cave. There's, sadly you cannot make micro blocks from ice, uh, ice, but you can make ice fence. I tried that out in creative. Um, ice, let's see, yeah, you see those things, pretty cool and we probably can yeah, make something that looks like ice um, hanging down from the ceiling. And yeah, I filled in the background here with snow and need a lot of snow to work around here and for that purpose here I made me this little automated snow block generator um, well known design you know with the pistons where you just push the snow golem in the corner but in the Feed the Beast of course you can further automate that which is pretty fun we have a block breaker here in front and yeah the block breaker goes into a chest chest um, sits uh, our auto crafting table sits on, on top of the chest and we have it set to snow blocks and here we have um, wood pipe with an end gate end gate is set to redstone signal on do the energy pulsing and yeah when we turn it on the block breaker here taking out the snow blocks they're always regenerated um, by the snow golem in the corner and have it set to a fairly quick pulse as you can see and yeah snow blocks are produced for me here and you can use them for the building around here so pretty practical and I was also contemplating you know when I do my outside base um, again I might really go for a snow biome I'm not quite sure if I want to settle down right next to Iso and Andrews you never know you know with these two guys so yeah, this is the basic idea, you know, making it look a bit ice cavey, and I think that should work. We work a lot with snow and ice in here then, and lighting is another issue. If we work a lot with ice, we need to be careful a bit, uh, because I want to have a little bit of a light show going on as well. Um, but we don't want to, you know, put snow blocks down today. That would be something I can do off camera. Let me just store them in here. Today we want to build a control unit for our curtain. Uh, curtain? Yeah. <laughs> First of all we will have a curtain. So let's say we still need some snow blocks. I found a lot of stuff out about the frame motors and frames and things and yeah. So let's say people walk in here. And then they would probably walk to up to here. We need we need some space for our setup behind. Let's say here. Ooh, that was a speed boost. Okay, that's six. A six wide thing. You walk up and you can 
see pretty well. Yep, we need space for the gate. So this will be um, an opening we will have. And then there should be blocks there to cover it. Mm -hmm. Let's say we make it mm, three high. Yeah, that looks looks decent to me. So here, door opens, and behind it, you know, right there, it would glide on there, basically. Mm -hmm. And behind it, there would be glass. Okay, here we would have watered glass. For now, we're just going to use... No, not red wool. Use some smooth stone or something. I <coughs> have to water glass over at the base, so we should have enough. But we just want to check if we would have an, a big enough window. So here would be watered glass then. So let's see. Yeah. If we walk up to it, here we couldn't look through, but there, yeah, it would give us a nice angle. Okay. Feels good. I think we're gonna do a six by three curtain opening before the show starts. To make sure maybe we need to extend here a little bit. If we are lucky we don't have to do it, but we probably will have to. We'll see. Okay, so if we wanna move stuff around, we need frame motors. And our frame motors are gonna sit here. This is moving f this way. This should move the other way. So let's flick it around. Just like that. And on the other side we shall do the same thing. I have frame motors prepared. Alright, let's do that. And yeah, also talk to Good. We will set up a nice touch screen for the whole setup. Wanted to record that on Tuesday. So tomorrow actually. So hopefully this episode will be out soon then. And we're gonna arrange it symmetrically. In and out. Okay. Now we need frame. And with the frames I found out you can actually stick a cover to them. And the cover has some very good good things that will help us go in. Wait, let me... to go again. Okay, so I hope it works. So let's see. Let's say we had it like this. One, two. One, two. Hmm. And now I made some covers here. Red wool cover. And with these you can actually stick them into the frames like that. And I think it looks really cool, but the most important thing about it is, so now we should take that all out again, so now as we know where we build it, it doesn't uh, stick to blocks, so anything it touches like that is not affected. And that is really cool because normally the item frames, you know, carry anything. So we want to stick one to there as well and so hopefully you know those item frames will not connect when we push them together and let's see we need to make it bigger one two three one two and up here as well three let's do the same thing and then we need to build a control unit for it. I saw a design a while ago. Normally I can memorize stuff like that when I saw redstone circuits. I should be able to pull it off because I can't find the video anymore. But it's a nice way to control frame motors if you want to ma make them you know, go up and down or control elevators and things. Very useful setup. I'm pretty sure it's some kind of a standard thing people use for that, but we'll see. Okay, so got that covered, both sides, okay, 
And I also think we should do it on the button. Mm -hmm. Although, no, we don't have to do it. It's all right. Okay, so now we had our door. Now we need a few frame blocks so we can move it over. It has to go, it has to have two more and we can push it to the middle. Okay, and here we can also stick covers. Oops, dang it, that was wrong. So we don't make it. Ah, it was already placed. Glue to stuff. All right, on the back side we don't need it for now. We probably have to put it in. I also like the look of it. And, you know, if we really don't like it, we could also try to put more covers in front. But I actually do like it, you know, with the the frames, looks pretty, pretty decent. So, now we have the basic idea done. Um, now we need to get some snow blocks back. Say here would be our side covers, like that. And it would be closed off here. Mm -hmm. And also on top, say we go over right away. Maybe we can stick some covers here on top as well. So we don't have any <coughs> stickiness going on with our curtain here. You don't want no sticky curtain. All right. Up, 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 opens up, show starts. Probably we want to stick some covers to the bottom if that works. It would be a little bit of a flaw here. We could still try to use something. We'll see. <coughs> we'll figure it out. Okay, that is the first thing. Next up, we of course need energy to power them. Whoop. Spider. What is that? Leg spider? Unkillable leg spider? Die! Die! What the heck? <laughs> Man. Resists fire. We need to be careful. Not the safest area around here. I hope we don't get creepered this episode. Okay. So now these things definitely need power. We will provide power to them via battery boxes. Probably from below here. And I also have prepared two of them. Okay, just gonna throw it in there. And another one. Whoa. <laughs> That was crazy with these boots, man. You're trucking along. Okay, so some ores. We should we should not neglect it completely. Whatever you have, you have. Okay, did we put it on the inside? Yeah, let's try to work symmetrical here. Okay, battery boxes are down. This one actually holds a charge and is already powering our frame motors. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think it's all right. We can put a cable down, then a cover, and then we can power it. Okay, so this one was powered before I ch because I charged it before, but on the long run, we of course need a power source. And I was thinking I yeah, made these genetic... Um, motors ones, you know, with the windmills and whatnot. And I think this one um, would look nice. Um, and I hope, you know, together with beef, we can work a bit on the looks of the whole thing. But somewhere back there, I had a little shaft that was going right down. And I was thinking for now, you know, we could just put the motor on here. Get up to be careful with the hitboxes again. Okay, and then we can run wire down. And it gives also hopefully a nice touch here in the zoo as a little landmark. 
We could also use the other rotor as a, um, another kind of windmill. It's up to beef then. We can decide later. Okay. So, now, um, some more wire. Where is my blue alloy wire I prepared? Hopefully it is enough. Uh, let's quickly go up. Rip weird hitbox. And grab the power from here. That should work, hopefully. Bring it down. Come on. Oop. We can hide that here, of course, later on. That is no problemo. Yep. Come on. Wire. Okay. And let's say, yeah, we're definitely a bit short on um, wire. I need to probably make some more. And yeah, probably should also go down. Okay, guys, I'll get some more wire. And we'll try to wire this up. Be right back. Okay, guys. Yes. We got it done so far. So, wired it up. And as I said, we will change that. But the battery box are charging. Quick look. Looks good. All right. And you can see our frame motors have enough energy. So let's say stand in front, let's close it. Um, leg, hello. Whoop. And this side. Cool. Opening. <coughs> Excuse me. Yep, works like a charm, and we would open it, it unto, up to here. Whoop. Oh, that was stupid now, wrong direction. Wait. <laughs> ah. Need to flick that around. Let's make it face our way. Okay, and now we need to put. Give me the motor. Why do I still have to die in my inventory for making all the colored cables we need? Because right, right in a second you will see the problem we need to tackle. Okay. Wait. And that has to face in now again. And no, that's sitting wrong. To place it from on top ah, try again frame motor come to daddy okay there we go facing outward this one's facing wrong at the moment Inward, inward, outward. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now, um, outward. So we have to go one more. Yep. Okay. Here we could attach now. We need to be careful can cover that of course but the other things should be safe okay we don't even need that much space so guys as you saw right now we have to flick levers and whatnot that is of course not nice we want to have it cool and automated and for that reason we need to build an item frame um, control unit you know a unit that can be used for elevators and for anything to move them up and down and whatnot. And we need to connect our um, yeah, frame motors to that. And I was thinking, I want to dig out a pit here behind the place. And if we would stop lagging, somewhere around here where we're going to put the circuit in and 
can later access it in case of yeah if you want if you need to do any any maintenance and stuff and also there's gonna be more you know control units redstone wire and stuff so having a nice little area where we put it will be helpful later on so okay I prepared a little bit here guys and be back okay guys let's get going with the redstone stuff yeah I've also been doing a lot of research lately about um, red power 2 and about things we have there we already worked with toggle latches timers new is a counter and that is a very helpful thing um, I need to craft me a sticky piston still that is something we need in the end but yeah okay we have bundled cable very useful stuff different colors of insulated cable normal red alloy wire red insulated cable normal repeaters there's also red power two repeaters that quick they're only one tick so but vanilla repeaters do the trick as well or yeah normal minecraft vanilla um, repeaters okay so here i dug out this pit um, i think we can put part of the wiring in here and yeah as i said i saw this design once if i would remember it i would link it i can't find it um his name was pyro something as well not pyro puncher <laughs> i would of course remember that okay let's start it up i think first of all let's say we put an input back here so we have enough space to build in that direction actually let me see let's move it over a bit here we would have an input with a button on it that would be later on the input we get from our setup okay and now we need to think let me think um, of course we need to switch the thing on and off so we need a toggle ledge did I bring him yeah a toggle ledge okay let me think where how do we position it we should flick it over a bit yeah we should definitely do that let's say we control it from here now we can flip uh, f switch it okay now <coughs> we need a repeater <coughs> normal repeater i think it was that way facing back you know i can if i close my eyes i kind of can memorize um, or remember designs i once saw but <coughs> it doesn't work always it needs some concentration and i often do it off camera but i want to try to pull it off this time okay let's see <coughs> um we should have a timer yeah we need a timer we need to control the whole thing yep okay timer we need a timer we need a counter and the counter needs to be switched around a bit so we actually connect from here okay now we definitely let's take some white cable need to connect that and then there was some kind of an e in the design made from the bundle cable let me see we need to come around and then nip, 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 nip. Mm. Mm. go out Mm. we should connect here as well yeah um, let me see then we should also come out here and we need to connect there <laughs> yeah so we toggle it on time and gives the pulse this thing counts yep we're on the right track 
and now we need to grab the outputs and that could be done like this yeah okay now the signal pulls out um, you know you can we can set it now so um, we need to move our doors exactly three blocks so let's oh wait can you should have an empty inventory there were some troubles with it right okay so the maximum and minimum count of the of your counter should be the same increments of one that is all right and timing wise for the um, clock here or timer you should say around 850 or 900 something like that I, um, I think when I tried it out in creative that worked okay so now it's not not fully completed but almost we need to make a sticky piston I need to make a sticky piston I need to get slime balls I have some at home be right back okay it's taken care of sticky piston here um, let's see we need to toggle you should use this wood block doesn't matter be any block and we need another toggle latch and we need to put it here and we should flick it around so we can actually control it okay that works and now we just need to connect here we could use the red wire here so we don't connect there okay and here on the back side with repeaters we could draw the signal out okay let's quickly dig that out we have a bit of space we don't even have to use repeaters we could use to we could even use cable directly but it's more clean to have nice repeaters for the output okay so now what will happen is should be able to control the door with it um, maybe we can put some redstone torches on here so you guys can see what the thing does we make a, a few okay so let's say we get an input go It's too quick. We can't we can't see it with the torches. But um, let's look at it again. One, two, three pulses, and then it switches. One, two, three pulses, switches, and that is exactly what we need. Now we have two separate exits here, and it couldn't work. I messed something up. Of course, we need to grab the power from here. Okay, so once again we press it, three pulses for this repeater and now three pulses for the other. So now we just need to connect our frame motors with that, so we can control it. So let's say we connect this one side here, so we can actually try it out. Right now it is close, we should, we should switch it around, it would be, be a bit more s clean. Okay, so the closing gate is this one, so we need to connect to here. Let's try that. Let's fill it in with a full block and we could use the orange wire for that. Let's say orange is our opening wire. Wait. So the three parts is going to come here, so we go up and over, round and into this motor. Okay, it's just pointing on uh, this lever here is just doing something. Yeah, okay. So 
this is the opening, but actually we want closing. Dang it. Um, so make a cover. It's just use a red wool cover, what we have here. I want to see if we can actually put the cable on there, but I'm pretty sure we can. Oh, just be careful with my snow goal in there. Okay. Let's... Let's stop attacking me. Let's see. Let's get behind it. Put a cover on. On the thing. Maybe we have to move move around some wire later on. But we shall see. Can we have a top to that now? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's break it out again. And then we can go directly. Ah, no. There we cut it off now. Stupid. Okay. But a cover could go on the back side here. Yep, and the cable can go on the cover, right? Yeah, good. Right into there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now if we press the button and if we have set up everything correctly, this should close the gate. Hallelujah. Okay, now we need to hook up the opening sequence. Mm. We could use white cable. I think we have enough. So we go out here, up, up. And we need to... Okay, here you could also use bundled cable, actually. Let's try to do that. Let's try it out. Oh, uh, ah, no, 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 no. I don't. Yes, it would work. But it's actually not needed. Can do it like that. Okay. Now we need to bring the cable over. What happens here? We could use one bundle cable like that and go like this and this will be smart enough to separate the signals then we come up and go in there are we connected correctly yes we are so if we press now again it hopefully should open yes awesome okay now i'm gonna wire that up to the other side here Hopefully I have enough cable. I have maybe have to make some more. But that looks pretty cool already. I love Red Power too. And hopefully maybe you guys find the video. I was not able to relocate it. This is not my invention. I want to state that really clear. But I saw it somewhere and I could remember. So yeah. See you in a sec. I want to finish that. Okay guys. Let's get some more bundled cable going. And then it should be cool. Now I have the redstone wire more compact. Oh, that was the wrong one. We need a bundled cable. Okay, so it's like a bus cable now. We come in with a signal here and we exit with the signals at the correct um, motors. Okay, and let's eat. And Let's hit the button. Closing. Opening. And now we shall see that from the front side. Uh, maybe we can put some yellow wire, some wire down somewhere to bring the the button up. We'll probably use something else later on. This is just so we can see it um, remote controls options and whatnot but you know um, there will be more as I said to control the setup um, or more stuff involved so we don't know yet where the inputs will be um, the input for this um, yeah, gate here will definitely not be right up in front here but to check it out it should be cool Whoop. come back 
Okay. Let's get the red alloy wire going here all the way to there. Oop. Don't do that. Go on top. Why don't you want to do that? Why doesn't it connect? Weird. Do we power this stone now? Not 100% familiar with the red power stuff, but it's getting better. Really liking what I'm seeing, and the more I work with it, the cooler I find it. It's better. Okay, button. Let's see if the signal arrives. We should see closing. Ah, uh, yeah. Ha! Awesome. Lights go on. Thing opens. Okay, so we come in here. Show would start. Do, 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 do. You walk up to here. Maybe sit around here. Check what's going on. See the show. Penguins flying. Music playing. After a while, curtain closes again. Awesome. Curtain closes as well for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. I'm having a lot of fun with this project. Please, guys, you know, show some support. Hit that like button for me. You know how the drill works. I want to remind you of that ever so often. The more likes, um, the higher the chances are, you know, I can put more videos out because more people will find me and so on and so on. The good old drill. I hope you like the setup. That's it for today. Bye, bye. Actually, the curtain should close. Bye, bye.